we haven't done a We Out You in a while, so I wanted mm. to cover more than one topic. And we also know that you, RJ, as a person, you've got a lot of football jerseys. Got a lot of those things in your closet. So I had to tweet out a, 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 a topic to people um, saying, what is the best TV slash movie football jersey of all time? Because I thought this would be fun for us to discuss on the show. So I just wanted to quickly run through what some of the responses were, and we'll see how many of these are in your closet. Um, our first one from Kevin is the wonderful uh, Shane Falco. I have that jersey. <laughs> I also have his Johnny Utah jersey, where he played at Ohio State. So we have a universe in which Keanu Reeves has played for Ohio State at quarterback and. Lost a lot of money on that Sugar Bowl, right, in the replacements. I kind of want that to be the same school. I just, I just do. And then uh, that replacements jersey is, is awesome. It's a lot, a lot of red in it. But here's the thing. I wanted the Shane Falco jersey because great speech at the end. Kick, dig, scars. Glory lasts forever. You know, they go win the football game. But also in there, I really love Clifford Franklin. And I really love Earl Wilkinson. And I can't find those jerseys. They're very difficult to come by. But Clifford Franklin with the stick on his hands and Earl Wilkinson. That's a nice watch. Yeah, uh, doesn't even work anymore. Or, hey, Danny Bateman going, you better give it to Wilkinson. As the, he's a cop. and He's saying this about a guy who's in jail. Go on to jail. And I love that. I just, I love all of that movie because it is more or less why I love the sport. You could see people that really love playing football and will do anything to have the opportunity to play professional football and what that shows about their character. Shane was that guy, right? So I have that one. It's a great jersey. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think you wore that one to Pac-12 Media Days and you got lots of compliments. Um, our next one here is from Scott and he has, you know, Mr. Paul Crew. Um, okay, so superstar, that dude. I have this jersey. Right. I also have Megat, um, who's running back, but caretaker in the original. There are two. Uh, Adam Sandler's not necessarily doing it for me as Paul Crew. Burt Reynolds is my Paul Crew, and I'm sure the old heads are like, "This is why I like you, RJ." But I, I'm not going to pretend that the dude didn't go to prison. I'm not going to pre pretend that the dude didn't need to be in prison. But also, you know, prisoners versus guards. I think everybody has that as some sort of fantasy somewhere, kind of like you know, students versus teachers or what have you, coaches versus players. That 18 is doing a lot of work for him, right? Because Peyton Manning wore 18, as you very well know, Kat. And we all think, oh, okay, cool. That's a quarterback's jersey. I understand. Also, that jersey is a dead ringer for the Houston Gamblers jersey. And that black and red and white is doing so much work. It's awesome. And what's better than being called a mean machine, right? Wow. I had not seen the, the Gamblers. Now that you point that out, that's all I see. That's so funny. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, I don't want to spend too much time on that, but that is funny. They do look very similar. So the our next one is from um his name is Greedy Grandpa on the Twitters. Um, but he he had Mr. Bobby Boucher. I own two of these jerseys. One is red, uh, orange. One is blue. And I also have a blue T-shirt, uh, SC LSU jersey that I wear out because I don't want to wear out my Waterboy jersey all the time. But this is the one for which I. Like I like you, Kat, we got so many people having things to say about that being their guy. I think we were asking their favorite football TV movie character, and everybody was saying Bobby Boucher. I like the movie. I love his mama most. I love his girlfriend even more, right? And I also love that you got LT to come in there and said, which brings me to my next point. Don't do drugs. I, I, I fell out laughing. Yes, it's an outstanding jersey. Also, how often do we get to see a great linebacker wear a single digit? Good point. Good point. Yeah, we got that easily the most when we asked mm. that question to players at Media Days. They all said Bobby Boucher. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't even close. I remember you would get frustrated because it would all say the same thing. And I was like, well... If that's a favorite, that's a favorite. Um, okay, so our last one is from um, RN, is his Twitter name. Uh, but this is a personal favorite for me, but he said, remember the Titans. As a, that's a team, that's not a jersey. Uh, not I a character. Think, 
No, you're right. You're right. But I think maybe it's just all of them. The whole, all of them. Pick a pick a all, character. All Sunshine, Petey, anyone. It's all Julius, Gary. It's all of them. Uh, look, I usually, right, have things to say about Remember the Titans. But T.C. Williams is a real school, and it did a lot in the state of Virginia to integrate the state, let alone the football team. And then that football team is historic because they go undefeated in a year where they could not afford to lose. Kind of gets that what they expected out of Herman Boone. But the way that Denzel Washington chooses to play that character, I love that, right? From lines like, you're overcooking my grits, coach. Like, I just, that stuff speaks to me. And how I grew up, because Virginia's the South, for folks that don't, right? You could go from Virginia to Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and not miss anything. That's how that goes. I also enjoy one Julius Campbell, because that dude could absolutely play football, was super talented, and all he wanted was to follow behind a man who needed to earn his leadership. And that's what happened, right? This is also a personal favorite of yours, Kat, and I got to ask you. If you got to wear one of these jerseys, which one are you wearing? Oh, uh, one. That's an impossible question that you just asked me right now. It's got, I think it's for me, it's got to be, it's got to be either Julius or Gary. Mm. I think it's Gary. I think it's Gary. For, I, I think so. I think it's Gary. I would go get an Allen jersey if I could, because. It takes so much of yourself to say, I'm bad. Can we play somebody who's good? <laughs> and then your coach to tell you, if you want him to have your spot, you go give it to him. That is an interesting and then, take that I have never heard before. Serious. Like, you know this about me, if, if nothing else, Kat. I'm a proud man, right? I, yeah. I want to succeed. But to also understand for, for the team to succeed is for me to take a step back, but also Give the gift of, hey, man, go win us a football game. I mean, Petey ain't got no choice. And then the way they use music in that movie in particular, oh, by the way. just The soundtrack. You know, in the sky. The yeah. soundtrack. Okay, here's, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to break the rules a little bit. I'm going to give away the next thing that we're doing in the show. But we're about to, me and Tyler, producer Tyler are about to switch chairs. And we're going to bring him on to do a, a fun fantasy movie TV, she, TV show football draft. But it was going to be me originally doing this, and I was going to do a bit where I picked all Remember the Titans people. <laughs> and I was like, that's not a good bit because RJ will catch on immediately, and then it will just get repetitive and boring. So I, I will, I'm going to have Tyler switch and do that. But I wanted to do that bit, and I wanted you to know that I was going to do that bit, and then I decided not to, much like the guy being like, I am not the best person to play this position. Switch us out. <laughs> No, hey, look, uh, again, the things that we are willing to do to try to play to our strengths and allow each other to play to their strengths is one of the reasons I love this staff, honestly. Um, I also, one more about the, remember the Titans. Blue needs a, somebody find me a blue jersey. Like, mm. find me an Allen jersey, find me a blue jersey. Coach, I want to tell you, we going to warm up a little different tonight. All right, so when I played at Booker T. Washington High School uh, down the street in Tulsa, we used to warm up to Archie's We Ready, mm. right? So this is 2003. This is a couple of years after Remember the Titans comes out. And now it's one of those things where everybody has a pregame dance routine. Some teams even still do the haka. I, I don't think if you are outside of Fiji or New Zealand, you should be allowed to do the haka, but people do it, right? And the idea that you have a song that you will warm up to, I just, I really love aspects of this. I don't necessarily like the way that it makes uh, this really intense and hard problem seem easy. Like you, there are things that I very much enjoy about. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.